Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Wanted to do a quick pickups video. Got a bunch of movies, some games, uh, some really cool stuff. So um, I guess I'll start with the games. I ended up going to GameStop and they had some really good clearance prices for some reason and they hadn't changed some of them back. So they might be like $6.99 or $7.99 but they were still going for like a couple bucks or four bucks, five bucks. Um, I used the 5% Pro Rewards card as well. So I got Rage 2, which I didn't love. I, I loved the first one. Second one was okay. Um, but I didn't have it. So a dollar, I think it was a dollar seventy-five. So that was a, a good deal. You really can't buy much for a dollar seventy-five. Um, then I picked up uh, a Paw Patrol game for my son, which isn't here. I, I left that upstairs. And Monster Crown. Uh, this was four ninety nine when I brought it up to the register. I think it rang up like six ninety nine. I said, "Oh, there's a four ninety nine price tag on it." He goes, "Let me adjust it." And this is supposed to be like a love letter to Pokemon, but darker, and I think a little not as good. But uh, I heard it was decent. It has like these old retro kind of graphics, very very Pokemon ish. And for five dollars, I figured I'd check it out. I love that like old retro looking style with the indie games. So. I think it came to four and change after the 5% off. Um, then I went to this local video game store we have that sometimes has pretty good prices. Um, I had realized I picked up Arkham Knight for like $2 and didn't ever beat any of the Batman games. And I had played partially through Arkham Asylum and never beat it. They had the the dual pack of uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, is it? Yeah, for 10 bucks. So... The other good thing is if you give them cash, they don't really ask for tax. So I think online it was about 15 or so plus tax. This was just 10 bucks all in. So good deal. Two games. Um, I've been going back in here and there to Arkham Asylum, and I'm enjoying it. And then I picked up a bunch of movies. The first movie I got, and I think I paid like 12 bucks for it, which is a good price because it usually goes around 20 or so. Vice Squad. This was a... Wings Hauser movie that's grown on me about Wings Hauser is a pimp and he kills someone, he kills a prostitute and they're going after him and he's doing all this crazy stuff. He's totally chewing the scenery. So if you're a Wings Hauser fan, I would recommend this. I also picked up, this was on eBay for $7.50 with free shipping, Little Monsters. This was a favorite of mine as a kid. It aged pretty well. It's definitely not really for children. Parts of it, uh, too scary. There's some cursing and stuff. Um, maybe, you know, right before teenage years, maybe like eight, nine would be good. But I was like five. So um, they don't make movies like they used to. So this was pretty good. I went back and rewatched that. Um, I found this today at the thrift store for about, I think it was like 25 or 50 cents. Kaltiki the Immortal Monster. This is a weird monster movie. I think it's Black and White by Ricardo Frida and Mario Bava. That's the reason I picked it up. And it actually goes for way more than 50 cents. So if I hate it and I sell it for like 15 bucks, I can pick up something else. I picked up from my good buddy Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Pale Blood from Vinegar Syndrome. This is a, another Wings Hauser film I had spoken about. It is um, a vampire movie with this detective trying to chase down these vampire murders. Uh, very 80s-ish. Lots of 80s music, uh, very good like 80s vibe to it. Lots of uh, like cutaways with bands playing and stuff. I really like this one. It grew on me. I look forward to re-watching it soon. Uh, he also sold me The Island of Dr. Moreau on Blu-ray, which I haven't seen in probably about a year or so. I had the DVD. thought the DVD looked good, but for the few dollars he charged me, I picked up the Blu-ray. Um, and then he sold me this, which... I've seen, I remember liking, but it's also very weird and you have to like kind of come to your own conclusion. The Oregonian, I think I reviewed this on my channel at one point. It's just, just strange film about this woman kind of going on this adventure and all this crazy shit happening to her and you don't know what's real and what isn't. Very David Lynch-esque. And finally, finally, as I caught those, this came in the mail today. Very excited to rewatch this. I had an old trauma Blu-ray that looked like garbage. It was the worst looking Blu-ray I owned. It was blue. It had scratches all over. It looked horrible. Rabid Grannies by Vinegar Syndrome. This is a really cheesy... I want to say it's a Belgium 
film about these crazy grandmothers that get possessed and start killing their family members. This supposedly looks and sounds great because that trauma release was horrific. It was such a disservice to this film because it's such a fun little movie and it made the movie like unwatchable. It was so bad, their transfer. So bad. Usually that doesn't happen with Blu-rays that I've noticed. But I look really forward to re-watching this. I got this for a really good price on Facebook. And then I sold my old trauma copy and paid like half price for it. It was like nothing. So that's it. Got some really cool pickups. Let me know, guys, if you've seen any of these movies, played these games, what you think of them. Monster Crown. I want to hear about your, your input on Monster Crown. That's the main one. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.